Walking Dead fans are freaking out over this news. Norman Reedus just leaked some brand new info on a new spinoff of the show. And if you were a dedicated fan of the original series, you'll be jumping for joy at this news because the show is coming soon. Here's everything you need to know about the Walking Dead spinoff that Reedus leaked. Obviously, the first thing we have to discuss is the finale of the original series, The Walking Dead. When fans were faced with the end of the long-running series, they weren't particularly upset about it. After all, we've already gotten more than one spin-off series this year, and there are plenty more on the way. Some fans were unsure how the producers were going to successfully end the show and wrap up all the series' plots while leaving it open for future spin-offs. But when the final episode Rest in Peace was released, fans were not disappointed. With the confirmation of three new series coming this year, we knew it wasn't the end for these characters. Well, most of them. Unfortunately, some of our heroes were forced to say goodbye. Yeah, they killed off Rosita and Luke. Fans were really sad to see them go, especially in the heartbreaking scenes where they succumbed to their bites. But at the same time, we got so many new beginnings as well. Probably the biggest moment in the last episode was the return of Rick and Michonne. They're getting their own TV show after the conclusion of the original series. So naturally, they had to introduce that. Actually, some critics and fans were a bit disappointed by how this went. Some viewers felt that the final episode should have been about concluding the series and not what turned out to be a promo for the new shows to come. With that being said, there are some moments in the episode that everyone can agree were absolutely perfect for concluding the story. For example, when Rosita and Luke both die, they are surrounded by loved ones. Or when they leave the Commonwealth, the very thing they've been fighting for all this time. Fans love that Maggie got the closure she needed from Negan for killing Glenn. I know that I probably owe you more than this, but... I am so sorry for what I took from you and what I took from your son. And when we get to the time jump and they show Eugene and Max's child Rosie, or when Negan sends Judas Compass back to her and they finally find Rick. With the ending of the episode being so bittersweet, fans came to accept the balance of heartfelt moments with the characters and the setups for the new series. Judith and RJ look at everything they've built and say that they finally get to start over because they're the ones who got to live. We get to start over. We're the ones who live. It's quite a fitting ending to wrap up the entire series, with all those little callbacks and little moments throughout the episode that got fans excited for the old and the new. It was pretty much the perfect conclusion. But it wasn't just a conclusion to one of the most successful TV shows of the past decade. It was also the beginning of a larger franchise of spin-off series and exciting new starts for some of our favorite characters. Let's take a moment to discuss everything that's come out or been confirmed so far in the Walking Dead universe. First off, dedicated fans know that there are already three spin-off series that have been made and even more are on the way. The first spin-off in the franchise, Fear the Walking Dead, premiered in 2015 and has run for seven seasons so far. Its final season will air in May of 2023, so be prepared for yet another series in this wonderful universe to come to an end. There have been even more goodbyes within the past few years, with other spin-offs of The Walking Dead, World Beyond, and Tales of the Walking Dead, which each concluded in 2021 and 2022 respectively. So, once again, we arrive at the same question. What's next for The Walking Dead? Well, some hardcore and dedicated fans will know that there have already been three more series in the same world confirmed to be released this year. Can you believe it? It seems that we'll be getting another fix of our favorite world of zombies sooner rather than later. The series that have been confirmed to air this year are Daryl Dixon's The Walking Dead Dead City and a spin-off starring Rick and Michonne, currently untitled. But the one we're most excited to talk about is the one starring everybody's favorite character, Daryl Dixon. Yep, the fan-favorite hero played by Norman Reedus will be making his return very soon. 
The show still doesn't have an official release date, but thanks to Redis, we now have some exclusive details about the show, and fans are eating it up. Some exclusive photos were released of Redis, and we get to see glimpses of our new location. And oh my god, you will not believe where the series takes place! Paris! It's super exciting to be getting a new location, but some info from Redis tells us something crucial. Apparently, something happens at the beginning of the series that makes Daryl have to relocate to Paris, changing the setting for the rest of the season. What that something is, we don't really know. But it's definitely going to be something super exciting that fans will absolutely love. More details about the show were leaked by Norman Reedus in an interview and during the last Talking Dead session after the finale. Here's the rundown. He said that fans can expect the new show to have a different tone from the OG, and that it's very tunnel vision. And as Daryl navigates his new French surroundings, we find ourselves in all sorts of new situations. Which will be very exciting, since everything is all new and fresh, but still in the same world. He went on to say that everything in the show is very different, and fans can expect completely new characters, a new cast, and of course, a new setting. Rita's talked a lot on Talking Dead about how the series is going to be a big change for everyone involved, including the fans, who can expect a completely new angle for the story. On Jimmy Kimmel, he confirmed that there is a reason why Daryl finds himself in Paris, but didn't say what it was. All he shared was that it wasn't his character's choice, he had to go to France against his free will. <laughs> Somehow I get I get put there. I don't go there on my free will. I see. Um, but uh, I mean, I, you know, I've been out there location scouting and casting and everything for the last couple months, and it's epic. I mean, it's. If you ask me, I'd say that this pilot episode is gonna be pretty intense and captivating. We'll destroy the Louvre. It's gonna be nuts. Redis added in his interview with Kimmel. So, needless to say, there are going to be some major action sequences and crazy moments in this show. Fans who know Daryl Dixon know his style. This guy is not chill. This show is definitely going to be jam-packed and full of action and adventure. But so far, there's only one downside. We don't know when the show will be released, but no need to worry, because in the meantime, we have another spin-off, Dead City, coming out in April. That's right. We don't have to wait too long to get another fix of our favorite heroes. New content is coming soon. But as for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, we know we should be getting news soon. And it has been confirmed.